Yo, 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 Dan Hammond, former British like what we watching champion here at the fucking dog track. We don't just do boxing, we don't just do rapping, we don't just fucking do the best white collar boxing shows in fucking London. We actually just go and do other shit that other people ain't do. We're good. Fresh air, it's like where I'm from. Bristol, it smells like from where I'm from. Bristol, it smells like Bristol. Country. <laughs> How's it going? Oh, two, two then, please, two. Yes, 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 you got to be losing loads of money, innit? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? You won it and lost it again? I think so, yeah. That's what gamblers do, innit? That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. I'll fit right in there. There's a hall, there's a, there's a dog called Forever Bubbles. Since, since, since I've kind of like reinvented myself as like an East London, I think I should go for Forever Bubbles. Quivering Joe. Oh, you cut that bit. Cut that bit. I want the wrong races. At the races, I haven't got a fucking clue how to bet. I don't know. How do you bet on the fastest? I'm gonna have to ask someone. How do you? How do you bet? What dog do you bet? You bet on? Excuse me. You betting? How do you bet on? How do you know which dog dog to bet on? Look at the phone when you call. Oh, just look at the form yeah, and study the form, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Cool. That's usually the easiest answer. Just look at the form and it tells you that. Yeah. You know what it is. It's for next dogs. Yeah? I don't know anything about it though. Yeah. So um how, how how do I pick a winner? Just, just Turbo's gotta be fucking fast, isn't it? Turbo Mags, track two. Turbo Mags, Turbo wait, wait, wait. Turbo Mags air air what? Air Mount Bride. Air Mount Bride. Sister Gabriella. That can't be fast. Becky's, Becky's Molly. Becky's Molly. Storm Cole. Storm, that's got to be fast. Valley Hill Legends. Storm or Turbo? Storm, Turbo, Storm, Turbo. Boom! Turbo, Turbo, fuck it. Have I got a five on Turbo? Five on Turbo, yeah. Turbo, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Darren. Darren. Thank you, Darren. Darren. Come back if it wins and we'll pay you. Yeah, we'll you're going to be five feet too much. Okay, sure. Yeah, we'll get two. You drop your card. Does anybody else? Be careful you don't get rushed tonight. Don't rush tonight. Darren Abbott at the races, Nut Lap TV. Bad Boy Promotions, the only black man in the yard. <laughs> the only black man in Crayford tonight. The only black man in Crayford. Congratulations, Dal. Lucky I can fight, innit? Nah, 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 nah. I told him to fuck it off. I told Eddie to stick it. Yeah? Yeah, 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 no, good. yeah, yeah no good. No good, no good. Bit of politics, man. I can't deal with it. I can't deal with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. too good for me. Yeah. You can help that boy. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Best, yeah? Thank you. Cheers. One, three, and six. I bet all my money. Uh, mine's is um, tur Turbo Mags. All your money on that, yeah? Yeah. Come on! Mine's just, mine's just five, mine's just number five. Big up number five, come on five, come on five! Number four is off. Amazing man, I mean I mean like, there's like I've never I've never trained for a 42 minute fight since coming to London. So like yeah. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, I put a lot of work in. Put a lot of work, put enough work in to be the fittest man at 12 free, 12 threes. So you can imagine, like me being at four threes. I got, I got, I got to my peak fitness level. To, well, not peak, but I got to the level of being able to do four, four twos weeks ago. So yeah, I'm just enjoying myself. I'm just cruising, man, and coasting. Man. Coasting, yeah. Yeah, coasting, enjoying myself. How long have you been preparing for this one? For, huh? for your last fight? How long have you been preparing for it? Do you know what? Thirteen weeks. But I didn't want to train too hard for 13 weeks, obviously I didn't want to play peak too soon. There's only four twos. So I've kind of like just been working on other little stuff, having fun, going on bike rides. Do you know what I mean? Learning different stuff on the pads with Adam Spelling, you get me? Yeah. You know what I mean? Old man, old man pads. 
like instead of having to rush around the ring, having learning about walking people onto shots and stuff. So yeah, I'm enjoying it, man. That's what I mean, you're gonna piece it together. I'm gonna have to help you edit it you know, and make yeah. it sicker, make it sicker still. So what? You, why wouldn't you be a manager, promoter, or trainer, Darren? Because to be a manager, promoter, or a trainer, I'd still be part of what I what I've left. I've left boxing because boxing is what, it's, what, what it says on the tin. British Boxing Board of, listen, wait, control. The British Boxing Board don't control me. Do you know what I'm Yeah? When I took fights at short notice, that was me controlling my own destiny because I knew that I could eat, man, innit? And you're gonna, you're gonna fuck up me. Now you're trying to make me, you're trying to force me to take fights on short notice. You're trying to tell me when to fight. You don't tell me when to fight. Do you know what I'm I fucking do what I want to do, innit? Do you know what I'm Yeah, so British Boxing Board control, control me. And for me to get a, a, a manager's license, trainer's license, and to be a part of boxing, I still have to bow down to the British Boxing Board of Control. You don't control me. Yeah, Swagger, look man. Come at him. Prada shoes. We're born to do this, man. We're born, born to do it. We're born to do this. We're born I was to do this. Treating ya. What's going on yeah. around us, now? Yeah, we're treating the white collar. Our boxing class, the Bad Boy Promotions, the Bad Boy Promotion, the, the show that I'm going to be fighting on. Me and Alan spelling about the guy over there, Master Genius. Had do, learning shit with him that I didn't even learn whilst I was I was doing it when I was in the pros. You know what I mean? And you know, people need to people need to check and recognize that there's theory and there's bullshit. You know what I mean? And there's and there's there's reality. You know what I mean? When you when you when you're implementing shit, that that is is reality. Or you could just do pads. You could just do pads all day long, mm. go in the ring, and you never do none of the shit that you've been doing on the pads. I call that no, sorry. It's theory and fact. It's fact that I'm gonna I'm gonna have to do a certain thing to get towards you, or I'm gonna have to do something to make you walk onto a certain punch. That's fact. Fact that how 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 how, how Canelo set up. Khan, that's fact. Mm. Do you know what I'm But if I if I if I'm throwing a 19 punch combination, that's theory. Do you know what I'm And that's the difference. What was just in that fight? What? How did you interpret the fight, Dal? Prior I, I to did, the fight, I, did, I, did, I, did, I just think I just think to myself that um, Amicon's got Amicon's got a lot of uh, uh, mistakes that he still makes. Yeah. Uh, setting, he gets away with them every now and again, and obviously you can't make mistakes at that weight. And obviously he he just he just Canelo was yeah. just waiting for him to circle, circle to his left, onto his right, and boom, there, there you go. Okay. And there you go. He set him up, didn't he? He what set a, him up, yeah. Yeah, what a set up, yeah, what a knockout, man. What a yeah, yeah. KO'd yeah. him for three minutes, wasn't it? Huh? He was on the floor for about three, four minutes, wasn't he? Was he was there, there on there for a long time, still. Yeah. He was there for a long time. Didn't get up. Funny, because I bet, I bet on Khan still, because I've. If Khan, if Khan would have carried on doing what he was doing, do you know what I mean? He was winning clear as far in my, my eyes. I don't know how one of the judges had fucking um so, so, oh, that's the bullshit about boxing right there with the judging and shit. Talk to me, so what we, we what have you got you got any news for me now? Not any news, bruv, I don't got any news. That's, my, my shit my shit is just directed that people who think that yeah. think that that my decision yeah. of what I'm doing is a joke. I'm laughing at people that's in the game right now, do you know what If you ain't got if you if you were in the game and you're and you're fucking you're laughing at me for fighting on my own show, so I I ask you why. I'm fighting, on, I'm fighting on my show as a rebellion because this, this, this game is sewn up in it. Mm. It's a bag of shit. My last option was to fucking fight on Mickey Elliott, fight with Mickey Elliott for 500 pounds. Okay. You don't think I'm making? You don't think I'm going to be making more than 500 pounds to fight on my own show? 500 pounds. 500 yeah, pounds. That's what money that's, offered that's a me. Disrespect. Yeah, and, and and Barry Smith asked me and tried to uh, try to basically convince me to fight on a bullshit show for bullshit money. Do you know what I'm and you you know, and and and, and, and Mickey Ellis only angle is that you can train in the gym with water bags. And when I won the British title, the gym that I train in smelled of piss. And that's what I reckon. If you go to all the gym where the champions is, Lee Selby's gym looked like a fucking crap den. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, look at it. Do you know what I'm It's bullshit. And like, yeah, man, I just, I just tell it how it really is. I've got no, I've handed in my notice, innit? So I can say whatever the fuck I want to say now. So you're so, fighting on your own show? Fighting on my own show. Fighting on my own show. It's just the first. Fighting on my own show. When is it going to be? When are, you, when are you actually fighting? When is it? Um, I'm fighting on the 8th of July. Okay, 8th of July. I 8th of, 8th of July. And I, like, but yeah, basically, I just, just fed up a boxing, man. I just think, fed up with the fake, fed up with fake trainers, and fed up with like, and fed up with like, People who used to speak to you when they used to train, used to, the man that used to train me, and then now if I seen them now on the street, they they they, would, they would, couldn't even come to me and have a conversation. I think that's a bag of shit. A load of fake fucking people. And I'd rather yeah, fight on my own show, stand up on my own, than associate myself with a bag of pussy Because when I was training, no one didn't call it. No, when I was fighting, no one in the boxing game wanted to call my name in it. Do you know what I'm from?
So when you see me say I want to fight my own bad boy show, help me up and say I'm a bad boy. Do you know what I'm mean? Don't even giggle, don't snigger with yourself. Because you lot are a bag of pussy else. Because you don't want to stand up for yourself and do your own thing, innit? Do you know what I'm mean? I, I was going through my old my boxing memorabilia, and you know what my boxing memory not I found? I found a contract for £90,000 from, from Frank Warren, which I turned down. I turned that down to be loyal to Spencer Firo. Does that make sense? Then I went on Matchroom, went with Matchroom, and made 16 fights yeah, combined in both of our careers. Me, then all of, then all of my fights combined, and all of his other fights combined, in that last fight that we lost against Adrian Brown, he made more money in that fight. And that's what that's about, about boxing. And we need more people that used to box and made money, making money, rather than opposed to people like Mickey Elliott and Steve Goodwin, who's never been punched in their face, never had to bump the train, never had to... Listen, I'll tell you how it really is. Bro, you'll never see me in another fucking small boxing show again, you know? I'm telling my people and my friends, I say, listen, bruv, I can't support you no more, you know? Because I'm not about that life. I'm telling you exactly how it really is. I think it's a bag of shit. My friend, my friend Biola must have, must have sold tickets one time, sold tickets, and at the end of it, didn't even make enough money to say, boom, yeah. And he's training for three months and he ain't got enough money in his pocket. I ain't got enough money in his pocket because the promoter wants to take a majority of the money. But this guy don't know what it's like because he's never been punched in his face. The only time he's probably been punched in his face is wife thumping in his face. Does that make sense? We have to live this life. Mm. This is why I said, you don't fuck that. I'm going to make all Listen, let me tell you something now. The personal training job that I'm going for now, what I'm doing now, and what I'm, what I'm bringing really now, is I'm making more money now than I was when I was boxing. No one in boxing can laugh at me. I'm laughing at you lot with your 10% and your 25% and this percent, that percent. I keep all my money. All I have to, pay, all I have to do is pay the tax man. How much I'm telling them I'm making. Does that make sense? Yeah, this is what I'm saying. This is the reality of boxing. It's a bag of shit. And it's got a bag of fucking fake people. I've got nothing to do with it. No more. That's what I'm saying. So these people, these people like this. So we just need someone more, someone from England to bust, like yeah. Floyd Mayweather, yeah. and become a manager and manage people mm. and manage fighters, making sure the fighters make more money than the promoters make. Simple. And you're only going to get that from someone who has been there and has done it. That's all I'm trying to say. But no one, no one said that before, have they? No one has got the balls to say that. Has no one ever said that? Has no one ever said that? Maybe someone like someone, up, someone, right someone similar to Ricky Hatton. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Some I, I heard he's doing good things. When Ricky Hatton bust, yeah? Ricky Hatton, I think I think Ashley Fear Ashley, Ashley again, yeah? Mm. When he did Ashley Fear Fame, Ashley Fear Fame was when he used Ricky Hatton, made decent money. When I heard the figures what Ashley Fear Fame made, I never made those figures for any of my British title fights. I got paid bullshit money for my British title fights. That's why after I, after I won my fights, I was back bumping the tube. Yeah, I mean, that's <laughs> Like, there's, there's a lot of shit over there. So when you jab in, make sure you're pushing up the There's a lot of shit. Pushing. Telling me to fight. Fight, and no one ain't putting no money in my pocket. It's a bag of shit. Boxing is a bag of shit. It's a lies. They sold me lies. Rocky lied to me. Rocky said that when you, when you box, you make a lot of money, you get a house. Bullshit. I was renting, stealing, robbing, stealing, scratching, signing on, and all that kind of bullshit. Do you know what I'm Yeah? Yeah. The harsh reality of boxing. The harsh reality of boxing. And anyone who's coming up now, Anyone who's coming up now and who's thinking of signing and turning pro, if you've got any other options, if you've got any other options or any kind of college options or any kind of work options, choose them before you box. And that's the truth. I'm, I'm not even saying that's a joke. I'm saying being serious. Choose it before you box. And then do something like that. Do it as a hobby. Do you know what I'm just come and do it as a hobby. And come and listen. If you want to be rocky for a weekend or rocky for a week, and see how hard it is for a week, come and do this uh, and, and you know, ultimate sports. Or even do Queensbury, where you can do a normal job and box at the same time. But yeah, but a boxing as a profession at the lower levels is a bag of shit. You know what I'm Because the only person who's, who's earning and making money is the small hall promoters. And when I say small hall, small hall promoters. Do you know what I'm Unless you've got an idea to probably go to Frank Warren or go to Eddie Hearn if you're good enough. If not, forget about it. And time, both of you jump out. Let's have the two ladies at the back jumping, please. Just the jab. Yeah, 16 ounce gloves on. Guys, if you're outside the ring, you should be ready to get ready back into the ring. Always, and always have a part to do with boxing, or always have something to do with boxing. Just not the pro game, it's a bag of shit. <laughs> Hey, try and learn to try and learn to slap today, yeah. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, slap, yeah. Don't, don't step. Well, your power is on next level power still. So. You're done today. Don't step, yeah. Don't step, don't step, yeah. I'm oh, just done. Slap, yeah. Slap, 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 slap. Yeah. Stop, 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 stop. You're right-handed, isn't it? Huh? You're still yeah. right-handed. Yeah, I know right. southpaw, but he's a right-handed southpaw. It's got to be. Yeah. How did I know that? Right-handed southpaw. That's dangerous. So he's leading with his power hand. Nuts. Go, go, go. 
I was the first one to figure it out. Delicious, fresh though. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Okay. Oh, oh. Yeah, good, yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He, he's a right. He's like he's a right-handed sasso. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that is always good. so he's leaving his part like like uh, uh like Kevin Mitchell. Okay, time. Both of you jump out. Scrap iron. Uh, Ag Summers tells me you're going to box again soon. And then the box again for the last time. The last time. Last time. Last time. We'll have one more seat. Yeah. yeah. One more. One more. You ha! Apparently he said he said that when you took the when you had the title last time, you just thought fucking can run for 30 minutes. I should be able to box in this one. Is yeah. that correct? It was sick as well. <laughs> sick as a dog. You're actually fear pain. Oh, sick as a dog. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Actually fear pain in the moment of the camp. Actually fear pain in the moment of the camp. The soup beat. Well, five days no experience. Yeah. I, I got talked into it, but I'm glad that I'm glad I got talked into it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. who try and take your money, so too much of your money. You know, while we risk a dangerous sport getting punched in our face, I think I think uh, a lot of you guys should walk viewed by water biography, which is coming out soon. Um, big up myself, give me another, give me another round of applause, please. I think I'm, I'm a round of applause. I'm a pioneer, revolution. Is a, a rebellion against a horrible sport. Okay. <laughs>
I don't know, um, I, I, I reckon the red guy kind of nicked it still. We reckon red, red nicked it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a legendary play. Nicky Van has been um, trying to throw the towel and Nicky Van kicked out. Nicky Van kicked it out, yeah, with Johnny Eames, so yeah. So hey, thanks so much indeed, guys, because you yeah. you were the two that had to keep it safe for me, because nobody wants to get hurt, and that's the main thing. Oh, yeah, it's great, so really, really appreciate yeah. it. And I will buy your book. Yeah, yeah. very interesting, very interesting. Yeah, I will. Uh, great. Hey, thanks so much indeed, guys. No yeah. problem. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'd like to come back. Again. Hey, you're a friend now. You you ain't you can run, but you can't hide. Thank you. Thank you no, really, really appreciate it. Cheers. Thank you very much. Boom! Big shout to the homie Shaka Bars. We just here post fight. He won, obviously. It's a good night of boxing. Yeah, so boxing again uh, helped out the, the injured soldiers tonight. So you know, boxing went to a good cause tonight. So I think it's a good thing. Good turnout. But who would have thought that a turnout for soldiers? You would have seen rappers like Akala and what was the other dude called again? Sebastian Newbank. Seb Sebastian. Seb you don't know who Sebastian Newbank. I'm whatever rapper. Logic, yeah, logic, that's it, that, that guy spits beer, logic, knowledge. And um, we, need to, we need to show youths like this, yeah, that it was, uh, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was a new experience, actually. I was a referee this time. Uh, I realised how awkward it is and, and, and vulnerable you are as a referee because you're standing there and these guys, they're not the greatest of boxers, are they? So you're standing in the ring and these guys are throwing windmill in and haymakers and stuff and you're right by, you're like, whoa, -ho -ho! you don't want to stand anywhere near it. But it was great, though. I mean, I enjoyed it. Um, the main thing was to wear white and not get blood on your clothes, so. I asked many boxers to come down tonight yeah. to, this, to this venue, and the one person that said, without a doubt, I'll be there, was this man, Darren Amat, Aaron, and this man, Ben Doherty. These, are the, two, well. these are the two, these are the two. He got a belt. Yeah. Thank you so much. Anytime, anytime, anytime. Ben, anytime. Thank, thank you, you so anytime, much. Yeah. Thank you so anytime. much. Anytime, I'll speak soon, mate, yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Do you want me to take my number? Oh, yeah. I've got it. I've got it. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Gonna, I'm gonna put his phone in the shop tomorrow, and then I'll message Babe, you. Babe, okay. if you take his phone, a good boxer, and you know good boxers, you know why? Because they look like that. Good boxers are good looking, you know what I'm saying? Good boxers got straight noses and they got... Uh, you, see, you can't be a good b b boxer and you've got like a broad nose and you're... There's always an exception, there's always an exception. Oh yeah, 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 <laughs> <laughs> that's a okay. So yeah, yeah. But, but guy, generally, and I, well, how old are you, son? Seven. Fucking straight. Yeah, straight. Blah, 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 straight. Move, straight. Move, 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 move. We're going to bring him back into the light. And we're going to take him away from, what's the, what's the, what's the, what's the grab you like again, call him? 6-7. Six, 6-7, seven. Six, seven. <laughs> mum's saying 6-7. And six, we're going to take seven, him away from 6-7, right. and we're going to bring him into Is the knowledge. Your, your son? So, yeah. So what's going to go on? If you're going to keep an eye on him. Oh, you're no. his guider. I'm going to guide him and protect him. Yeah? Gonna bring him into the light, again, bring him back to boxing, bring him, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to re-establish his talent, which he's already got in him. Are you going to show him the up. ropes? Show him the ropes. You're going to show him the... I'm going to show him to stay off the ropes. Was, yeah. Stop. Show him to stay off the ropes. Yeah, yeah turtle on the bed. Getting yeah. sharp like Ben now, but yeah. Yeah. Go on, that's all right. Um, did you get the one? I heard you won the first. Honey, babe. Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Yo, what's happening? Dan Hamilton for his last fight. I here to turn up to turn up. Making history, fighting on the first, not well, the first top professional to fight on a, on a white collar, white collar event. It's my fuck you to the game. Yeah, we got some tickets. Are they coming late? Yeah, fuck them. There was a, there was a spare one here though. Is that? Yeah. Do yeah, you really want to do them? Fuck it. Yeah. Fuck them. Do I put them in there? Yeah. You have to go now, Dal. Till the last time we see you in a boxing ring. I uh, should be fighting at 9.40, maybe, maybe 10 o'clock. I've got two hours, maybe an hour and 40 minutes to fight for the last time uh, against the only person who's not me out in my boxing career, in my professional boxing career. Okay. Yeah. It's, um, How it's are you really, feeling? I'm feeling good, man. I feel relaxed, bro. More, more, most relaxed I've ever felt and confident, obviously. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, the ability levels. Uh, I'm not gonna try and I'm not gonna try and do stuff that I no, don't normally do. I'm not really. If people don't like my style of boxing, then obviously then that's just it. And I can't. I don't, I don't box to impress. I box to win. Um, just gonna do what I do normally do. I'm not gonna try and knock him out. Just trying my best not to get knocked out. You know, he knocked me out last time, and I'm not taking any risks. Uh, at the same time, it's mad because I'm doing it on a show that I organise. So. Um, I'm still fucking trying to help the person who took over for me organize and help, you know, doing that as well as, 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 as do this, which is, uh, I'm, I'm really trained in the field of fucking organizing shows, so I'm actually just doing it like it's a walk in the park, and when the stress comes, that's cool. 
I just brush it off. Do you know what I mean? And then I'm just, just, just focusing on it. But that's, I'm kind of getting that kind of like, like I don't even know if I'm going to start barley when I hit the ring in it. Because I've made the maddest, sickest, illest entrance. The best entrance you've ever fucking seen. When you see the entrance, make sure you get this film on the entrance. Entrance, the baddest entrance you've ever seen. I'm going to be a bit, a bit emotional because the last time I'm going to wear a top out, last time I'm going to wear a blue, last time I'm going to walk out there. Spencer Freel is going to come out and do a little talk with me. Good. Last time I'm going to box, last time I'm going to get a little bit of nerves. And last time we got, you know, and my song, like my sign up song's big, and like it might even be a little bit emotional. I'm going to try and hold back the tears and shit because I don't want to be barling because at the same time it's punching people in the face, kind of like a sick combination of emotions. So, um, yeah, that's about it. And then after it, and after that, I'm going to do what we always do when we fight, we win, we come out the ring, and then we drink some alcohol and get intoxicated, intoxicated. Yeah, I got some champagne that I can't even pronounce because most of y'all used to mow it in Bollinger and shit. I got some shit that I can't even pronounce. I can't even afford About an hour? About an hour, yeah. About an hour. How are you Buzz. feeling right now? Buzzing, man. That's what, get in there, man. Let's get up. You know what I mean? Get it over and done with, man. You know what I mean? Are you going to miss so, the yeah. ring? This gonna miss loss. It, you going to miss it? going to miss it, bro. I'm going to miss it. Miss the, the ring. I'm not gonna, oh, I won't be missing training because I'm going to train. I'm going to offer my services to spar with, um, um, you know, um, unlicensed, semi-pro, whatnot, whatever you want to call it. Um, pros, up and coming pros. I'm going to go around sparring gyms. I'm going to keep myself fit. Actually, uh, as it goes, I'm going to spar with Kane Baker. Kane Baker's fighting soon, isn't it? On the Queensbury yeah, thing, Queensbury isn't it? Queensbury in September, yeah. Yeah, so anything from light, light, light weights to light water weights, water weights and light middle weights, I'm going to go around gym and spar. Just keep myself in shape. Because obviously, I missed the, um, getting punched in the face and punching people in the face, basically. You know what I mean? Oh, right. Yeah, so yeah, I'm going to do that. But the game, fuck the game, man. Fuck, fuck the game. Fuck the people that govern it. Fuck the boxing board of control, trying to control people. Fuck promoters. Fuck them. I'm just doing my thing. Good? Fifth, yeah, definitely fifth after the uh, auction. Nice. Okay, so roughly. Yeah, Kelbrook and Gennady Golovkin fight. I rate Kelbrook. I think he's a yeah. fucking G. Yeah, he's a G for doing that. Because I was cussing him the other day. I was like, oh, I'll give you a free. Like, as I was saying, the IBF is a bit booky, innit? Like, you could, ha you could have three defences against three nobodies. How the fuck that? Do you know what I mean? No disrespect to Frankie Gavin, but to have, have, have Frankie Gavin as a world title defence. Is a bit nuts, but then, then you're gonna go and then you're gonna fight Golovkin. I take my fucking heart off to you. Fuck it, I take my heart and my trousers off to you. you know what I mean, that's, 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 that's a G, and, and that's, that could be a career ending fight. You know, Golovkin's a phenomenal animal. When I watched one thing on Facebook and I looked at it, bro, my man actually lets you fucking hit him. Bro. Did you see that? that and he smiles at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy's a fucking yeah. animal, bro. I would fight him. Well, I would fight, I would fight him. But Do you know what I mean? Silly. But, no, he's, he's, I, I I'm just, I'm saying, I'm saying, yeah, I found options. Oh, of course. Yeah. No, that, that, that kid, that, like not right about now, is it, the, the, the struggle's real out there. Do you get me? When the when the when the EU thing comes into play, man, will know about it. So if someone offered me a million to fight Blockin, I would, knowing that I'd also fucking put some kind of cover, cover, some insurance cover on me, bro. Because that guy's serious, bro. No, John. Could end your career. You know, man, could end his career. Okay. Like how you bank ended my man's career. He could end your career, bro, and put you in some in a serious way. So right. you take that fight John. and the weight difference. I take my fucking. All of my clothes off to you. Take your yeah. purple hat off him. Take my purple cap off him. And that's hard to take off. After the auction, my way. So how many people have you got down here tonight supporting you? Yeah, then, I've got a few, you know. I've got a fucking few. I've only just realised. You know when you go out in the crowd and you realise how much people you actually got done? Got quite a few in that, yeah? Yeah, so I've done the right, done the right on tickets. So they've come, come to, from Bristol to show love, yeah? Um, a few of them, yeah. I didn't, get, I didn't tell as much to people, to um, right. Bristol people as I wanted to. Okay. But, um, Alright. But what I couldn't say, I just gave up. So it's just, just, just so people can just be here. Do you get me? Yeah, yeah, no, 100%. So. Alright yeah. then, that will, we'll catch up soon, alright? Let's knock on.
someone, a real special man. Give it up for Darren Amo Hamilton!
to separate the rough artists and the fakers, the men that are the bottom of the gladiators. The more important brave as well as knowledge as rapists. Warriors, all from trouble backgrounds, and the rulers of the war are eagles to make that down. Listen, I'm always going in, and I'm making more money as a personal trainer, than running around with people's school book shows, getting 25, giving away 25 percent to someone who never been punched in the face. Everyone put your fist up in there! for this young lady. We're trying to raise money for a test that will actually allow her to get her into the car. Okay? You want a word? We're going to auction...